Cotto is the bigger fight. A victory over Cotto would vault Margarito. 8,000 people have bought tickets here. A large enough number for the house. I don't know when I've seen a fighter more visibly ecstatic to be in the ring. Margarito tries to land at an exceptionally high percentage. Both try to just keep throwing. Poised in the ring with a title holder. Left hand across the top. Margarito <laughs> grinned at him. Good left hand by Williams that landed right. Big right hook. It would certainly appear that Williams, with his range and his volume of... But that's a markedly slow start against Williams' blazing beginning. And there's a straight left hand. But Williams is succeeding in this round, hitting Margarito as he's coming in. And differential isn't as big in the later rounds. Hard right hand across the top. It's like a flick, a hard flicking jab. Bringing it up from the waist, and now he snaps Margarito's head back with a... Good left. Williams once again throwing in the neighborhood of 100 putty in this round. Big left hand. Emmanuel, what do you think of what you've seen from Williams and Margarito so far? Well, first of all, it's really hard just simply staying busy and keeping him at a distance. Are you but surprised? You don't know the intensity coming from Margarita. He's fighting so slow and left and lethargic. Sintron scored a big second round knockout of Baltimore Margarita. <laughs> big left hand over the top by William. Number three. This is the third fight on our welter. Back in Carson, California for the fourth of the schedule 12 between Paul Williams and Antonio. Paul Williams fight before. 32 times he stepped in the ring and he's doing exactly. Uh, we can't disagree with him being ringside. Whether his career has any remaining future at this point. Picture that he's David and Goliath. like he's saying take your best shots kid let's see what happens in this second. His previous routine throwing in excess of 100 punches per round mark so far paul williams seems to have the edge at throwing and when you look at that body there was a time years ago when peterson said if you listen to me i'll make him a world champion he's got a chance to win that belt a lot of the time Adult boys, I want to say, Jim. Hard right hand by Margarito. So Margarito has been more than doubled in punch output. Right hand across the top by Margarito. And then with the right. And he's got a money punch. It's the left hook. Harder to land against the southpaw. Margarito continues to sweep it and land upstairs. Good hard left of the body by Margarito. A straight left right on the chin of Antonio Margarito. Emmanuel Stewart, do you see any change in momentum now at this point with Margarito clearly? Enough. His punches are too wide. He's, he's not shooting any straight right hands at all. Yeah. You know, we've talked about Beckham. Down the stretch in round number six. Both fighters have landed me. Totally outworked him to win that round. I mean, Margarito's not fighting like a guy who's urgent. Emmanuel, Margarito's grinning in there as though he thinks he knows something. Williams is steadily punching, slipping, twisting, turning, and very relaxed. So I think Williams can continue to go everything too slow. They stand and trade. Just over Williams' head. Williams goes back to rocking Margarito with his jab. And popping. Eighth round begins. There's a small. That's the biggest thing. He's not a big puncher, but he's punching and twisted. It solves the rhythm of. Williams to a degree because he's blocking a lot of his punches. Cutting impact. 
he hurts you with every punch. Prefer to be doing his damage with the left hook, but in this fight. The deck is, I don't think he can sustain it long enough. Joe would close as the fight went on. Big left uppercut jab, coming back, trying to stay active. But you're gonna stand in front of him and he's got a chance to hit you. Out lost to Alfonso Gomez. It's a retirement announcement interview. Seven rounds to two. 88, 83, Paul Williams. Jim, I, I think in the ninth round handily, he takes a seven rounds to two lead. Paul and the rest of the rounds. Of slowing down against Tijuana's Antonio Margarito. Help but focus on the notion of guys who turned Margarito down. Hard left hand inside by Williams. Right hook by Williams as well. Margarito left. Copy box numbers in round 10, power punches. Margarito opening up, 17 out of 76. Emmanuel, do you... Put him close, I can see. Hard right hand by Margarito. A lot of short, right there, little short punches. He's getting closer and landing right hands. Margarito has Williams in the deep water that fight. With power shots inside, big right hand. Antonio Margarito, another right hand. Huge round for Antonio Margarito now. Remember, Jim, and for round in the fight. Is it possible to do that and lose? Harder punch, block, and counter punch. Margarito with a giant right hand shot across the top. With... If Williams wins this fight, the, the, presumably, but not positively, should cement. A title debut at the top level of the division. He took on a guy whom a lot one judge, David Mendoza from California, not a ton of title fight experience. Paul the Punisher Williams.